Kevin, I suppose a draw on the road, first thing first, happy with the result? Yeah, happy, happy with the performance, of course it's a, it's a good result, I mean, like, we knew it was going to be a really, really tough game, um, conditions were, it wasn't, like, it was a bit windy and pitch isn't great, but then, our pitch, they're all the same at this time of the year, but it was flat in fairness, and, so there wasn't a bit of wind, but we knew, of course, like, Galway are so good with set pieces and throw-ins, and, when you have to defend them, but as I said before the game, they do have good players as well, so it's not just one dimensional that's and all that. So, but they did have a lot of set pieces, and I thought we defended them excellent, excellently. Because considering a couple of weeks ago, probably Waterford was set pieces, and we had to maybe refocus and work harder again at them. And the first of the last they did, and they put their bodies in the line. And, and if I'm being totally honest with you, our game plan was to try and defend, sit deep, and hit them on the counter, and we did that. And for whatever reason, we did. I don't know, you've seen it back, what I saw it back. We did it's not what a penalty denied. Like it's, it's, it's not the first time it happened to us this year that a big decision has gone against us. And I don't want to seem like I'm crying about every moan about everything because I do. I am a little bit vocal on that, but I'm really, really disappointed that we didn't because our plan worked. As I said, we kept a clean sheet and we did hit them on the counter in that, in that example. And for nothing, now look, we could have missed a penalty. We've missed one of Bunderi, but disappointed in that. Is the pride in the result and the character they've shown to Degain kind of, I suppose, balanced off and the frustration and not getting that? Ah, look, I'm I'm more happy than I'm not. Like as I said, we can only control what we control, and that was setting up in the right way. Having players that had a bit of grit and determination and had to be big, strong, defend stuff. And again, like you look across our two new centre halves there, we've we've we've, we've five or six new players in the team, so it does take time. But you can see already how how. You know, um, resilient and that, and the, the little bit of bond that they've started to build up. This is, I'm telling you, there won't be too many clean sheets kept here, I don't think, this year. And we've kind of done that. As I said, disappointed we didn't get the chance to go and win the game, but we've got to say, look, yeah, come down here, it's, it's a good point. Is there an element of that? We've seen, you know, obviously, there's a bit of a bounce when a team comes up to the top flight. God, we've been away for so long. The emotion of the crowd, we've seen even the cup run last year. Is there a bit of t- trying to take the sting out of the game, just slow it down? Well, and f- t- pull, the, pull the pin a little bit? Possibly at the start, it will be because, again, we watched obviously the Shelbourne game and they started, God, we started so well. They have done in all the games. Um, I know Waterford took an early lead, but they still start the game well. And in fairness, tonight they started it really well and put us under pressure, but it was just proper that we don't panic and try and of course yeah slow the game down and stuff like that but because it is a tough uh tough place but again i've said this on the radio so i love coming here it's a great ground great club um delighted that they're back um and as i said they're really really adding to it and, and no one's going to come down here and get tough they've had a really really good start excellent managerial team and i'm sure that will, will continue to that they'll have a, um, good performances and it's going to be a really really tough place for people to come but as i said I'm really happy with our lads tonight and come down. Take a point, would have liked it more, but yeah, it was a good clean sheet. Focus on yourself now. It's been a pretty good week. Four points wrapped up. You didn't have the game on, on Friday gone by because of weather conditions, but got to be very pleased with that. I'm oh, very pleased. Um, really, really pleased with two completely different performances, really. Um, we had a good like we had a good start. And it sounds ridiculous. We had a good start up in Derry, and you know, we were beaten and we missed the penalty and 2 1. and probably the water for game probably skewed a lot of things because it was probably the, the score line more than the, the performance wasn't great now of course and we can see the set pieces but again sometimes probably it's the world we live in the instant reaction to things is just you despair sometimes when the amount of people that are saying to me oh it's just a bad start we've we played one bad game out of four now like so I'm more than happy with what we have I know what we can do I know that we're got a fight for every point and I do think we're going to improve as well like we said five six new players in the starting 11 we're going to improve but you got as I said two completely different performances good week four points point away from home clean sheet can't be hard or can't argue with that makes the trip long trip back home a little bit of course that's what the bus makes because it broke down on the way down so uh, I hope it's fixed for you guys I hope it is I never know we might have a night on go instead (laughs) see you later on thanks Thanks very much thank you